Hello everyone, this is Rohit Dalia with the explanation of the poem The Road Not Taken from Class 9th CBSE. Let's just go through a bit about the poet and the poem in brief. So this well-known poem is about making choices, choices in life and the choices that shape us. Robert Frost is an American poet who writes simply but insightfully about common ordinary experiences. So this poet is written by Robert Frost who is an American poet and he usually when we look at the poems that he has written we try and observe that he writes some very simple to understand poems but it has extremely deep meanings and it also connects with everyone's life. He picks up topics that are related to each and everyone's life of different age group Anyone can connect to the poems that are written by Robert Frost. This is one of his collections, The Road Not Taken. As the name suggests, this poem is about a road, a path, a choice that the poet is trying to describe about. And The Road Not Taken describes the confusion, the dilemma of a traveler in this poem of choosing out of two different paths that he comes across in yellow wood. Yellow wood would be meaning forest. So without wasting time, let's start off with the explanation of the poem. The first stanza, first line is two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Two roads, there are two roads that are diverged. Diverged means gets you know divided into two. Okay, there is a single path that gets divided into two parts. But where? In a yellow wood. In a yellow wood matlab forest. And yellow describes autumn. It is describing the season autumn. And sorry, I could not travel both. So the traveler, I here signifies the traveler who is traveling, who is on an expedition and he is going through a forest where he finds that the path, the road that he is traveling on is getting divided, is getting diverged into two. And the season he describes is autumn. And he apologizes. He says, sorry, I cannot travel both. It's very obvious at the same point of time, either you'll travel through the first path or the second. You cannot simultaneously at the same point of time travel through the both path, both the roads. So he says, sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long guy stood. Being a traveler, what he did was, he stood there. He was trying to decide. He was trying to observe both the roads. And based on his observation, he was going to make a decision which road to travel. And look down one as far as I could. So he uh, you know, stood there for a long time as a traveler. What a traveler, you know, tends to be like a traveler has traits of you know explorer explorer in a way he, he, the traveler takes decision based on observations these are not random decisions so being a traveler he stood there for long and then what he did was he looked down as far as I could that is he stood there he observed the roads and he looked as far as he could and as far as was somewhere when it bent in the undergrowth, which is the last line, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Undergrowth means bushy area, a lot of vegetation. So path that he could see ended where the roads got bent. Matlab, there was a turn into the undergrowth. So he could no further look at anything. So he could see only the paths ending into undergrowth. This shows that it was very difficult to decide which path to travel up to now. Up to the knowledge that he had gained by observing both the roads. Right now, it was very difficult for him to make a correct decision. Second stanza starts off with, then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim. This stanza now gives hints to us, that is to the reader, that the traveler is almost coming, gradually coming to a decision. He is trying to make a choice out of two. And so he looked at the other, which seemed as far as the first, fair as the first. As fair as first ka meaning hota hai that both the roads, you know, by observing both the roads, he felt like both had the almost equal chances of 
ending up into anything. This shows that the traveler was not sure about either of the roads by now. But now he was trying to gain certain information and observation about the roads which would help him further in the poem to take the correct decision. So he said out of the two there was a road, the other one, the first one and the other one are the terms used for two roads here. So he said when he looked at the other road, it had a better claim. A better claim means the chances of travelling through that road had better possibilities according to the traveller. But on what basis was he saying? On what basis was he saying that the other road, the other road was better than the first one? Because it was grassy and wanted where? The other road, tha, the poet says, the other road was grassy, fresh grass there was there. And wanted where? Wanted where ka matlab hota hai? It was not yet travelled by many people. Okay. So, two roads are first road, second road. The other road which we are discussing has a better claim. So, kahin na kahin, jo traveller hai, was getting inclined towards the other road. Ke wo shayad wahin se travel karega. Uska reason wo kya batate hai? Ke the other road was grassy, fresh tha, grass the wahan pe. And wanted wear. वहाँ से कोई चल के गया नहीं था. इसीलिए वहाँ पे grass intact थे. जब कोई grass पे से चलेगा, तो you cannot see fresh grass. तो वहाँ पे road grassy था उसका. Traveller को उससे ये idea आता है that the road was not travelled by many people. It was a new road. Though as far as as for the passing there had warned them really about the same. But he also says कि उस morning वो जब वहाँ पे था in you know at a dilemma कि भाई कौन से road पे से उसको जाना चाहिए उस time पे it seemed to him कि दोनों almost एक जैसे ही road दिख रहे थे बहुत ही कम differences थे so it seemed to him that both the roads had been worn the same worn मतलब used the same and both that morning equally lay and both that morning equally lay here describes both describes two roads that morning means the morning the traveller went there equally lay means same to be the same so us morning jab traveller wahan pe the to both roads dono roads jo the wo same hi dikh rahe the koi difference zyada nahi dikh raha tha in leaves no step had trodden black ye important hai ab unko kaise pata chalta hai dono same kaise lag rahe the सो so, दोनों ही रास्ते पे उस मॉर्निंग से कोई चल के नहीं गया कैसे पता चला तो वहाँ पे जो लीव्स गिरे हुए थे ड्राई लीव्स जो पेड़ पे से गिर जाते हैं वो लीव्स पे से अगर कोई वहाँ से चल के गया होता तो लीव्स कैसे होते क्रश्ड होते और डार्क हो जाते लेकिन वैसे नहीं थे नो स्टेप लीव्स नो स्टेप हेड ट्रोडन ब्लैक कोई भी लीव ऐसा नहीं था जिसपे से कोई चल के गया हो और ब्लैक हो गए हो या टूट गए हो ऐसा दिखे ऑल द लीव्स और इंटैक्ट जिससे पता चला ट्रैवलर को दैट बोथ द पार्ट्स वर नॉट ट्रैवल्ड बाय एनी वन सिंस मॉर्निंग ओ आई केप्ट द फर्स्ट फॉर अनदर डे बट एज वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ विथ के दोनों एक साथ तो ट्रैवल हो नहीं सकते थे तो ही हैड टू मेक अ चॉइस एंड ही चोज द अदर पाथ व्हिच वांटेड वेयर एंड वाज ग्रासी जो हमने प्रीवियस टेंस में देखा और उन्होंने क्या बोला कि अभी तो वो दूसरे रोड से जा रहे हैं लेकिन ही केप्ट द फर्स्ट फॉर द अनदर डे कि जब फ्यूचर में वो वापस आएगा तो वो डेफिनेटली फर्स्ट रोड से ट्रैवल करेगा जस्ट टू नो कि वो अगर वो पाथ लेता तो वो कहाँ पहुँच सकता था सो ही वॉज अ ट्रैवलर ही वॉज एन एक्सप्लोर ही वॉन्टेड टू ट्रैवल थ्रू बोथ द रोड्स बट ही कुड नॉट डू द सेम साइमल्टेनियसली सो ही चोज द अदर रोड फॉर द टाइमिंग एंड ही लेफ्ट द फर्स्ट वन फॉर अनदर डे येट नोइंग हाउ वे लीड्स ऑन द वे आई डाउटेड इफ आई शुड एवर कम बैक अब दोनों ही रोड उसको कहाँ लेके जाएंगे उसको पता तो था नहीं सो ही वॉज अनअवेयर अनश्योर अबाउट वेयर द अदर रोड वुड टेक हिम बट ही ऑल्सो हैड अ डाउट दैट इफ ही एवर शुड कम बैक उन्होंने ऊपर लिखा है कि नेक्स्ट अनदर डे मतलब वो वापस जब आएंगे तो फर्स्ट रोड पे ट्रैवल करेंगे लेकिन वो वापस कभी आएंगे कि नहीं वो भी उनको श्योर नहीं था बिकॉज अभी जो उनका डिसीजन था वो करेक्ट होगा कि नहीं वो तो रोड पर ट्रैवल करने के बाद ही पता चलेगा so there were chances he might not ever come back to travel the first road so he was unsure about it but he had decided the last tense that deals with i shall be telling this with a sigh now the word sigh the last tense the first line first word uh, the last word which is sigh sigh describes that a feeling an emotion of un- being unsure 
So he says that I'd be telling this with a sigh, with an emotion of being unsure. Somewhere ages and ages hence, I mean, a lot of time later, I'll say this and I'll believe that the two roads diverge in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That a lot of years later, he will definitely say that he took a lot of years ago this decision. कि दो रोड्स में से उन्होंने एक ऐसा रोड ट्रैवल किया जिस पे से लोग ज्यादा नहीं ट्रैवल किया था किसी ने सो ही चोज अ रोड व्हिच वाज लेस ट्रैवल्ड बाय पीपल इसका रियल लाइफ में रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट क्या इंटरप्रिटेशन निकालते हैं तो इन लाइफ सोसाइटी गिव्स अ सर्टेन नॉर्म सर्टेन रूल्स व्हिच एवरीवन यू नो विद अ ब्लाइंड फोल्ड स्टार्ट्स फॉलोइंग सोचे समझे बिना हम सोसाइटी के नॉर्म्स एक्सेप्ट कर लेते हैं इवन व्हेन वी डोंट वांट टू फॉलो इट और वी हैव अ फियर ऑफ you know going for a decision which is different and which is might which might be not accepted by the society to robert frost's poem se yahi batana cha rahe that it's not like being or taking a different decision is always wrong isiliye last line mein diya hua hai ki unhone jo decision liya of traveling the less traveled road has made all the difference in his life jo bhi kuch hua acha hi hua hai and All those positive things that has happened after traveling by the second road, वो उसी की वजह से हुआ है वहाँ से जाने की वजह से ही हुआ है So his decision was correct और ये यही चीज सालों बाद लोगों को बताएंगे proudly बताएंगे So the poem has a very precise, simple interpretation for everyone's life, irrespective of what age we have, what kind of a profession we belong to, or anything else. The only thing common to everyone's life is taking decisions, which is not easy, but it is necessary. It might be that we might take wrong decisions, we might take correct decisions. That does not matter. But taking a decision is important, and those decisions should not be derived from someone else's opinion or decisions. मतलब अगर poets इस traveler को वो फर्स्ट पाथ से भी ट्रैवल करवा सकते थे क्योंकि फर्स्ट पाथ के साथ श्योर था बहुत सारे लोग वहां से जा चुके हैं लेकिन ट्रैवलर ने क्या किया ही वांटेड टू एक्सप्लोर उन्होंने कुछ नया करना था कुछ डिफरेंट करना था तो ही चोज द अदर वन व्हिच वाज लेस ट्रैवल्ड बाय सेम तरीके से हमारी लाइफ में हमें डिसीजन लेते टाइम डिसाइड करना है दैट डू वी फॉलो द क्राउड और वी स्टेप आउट ऑफ द क्राउड क्या हमें वही भीड़ को फॉलो करना है या हमें कुछ अलग करना है डिफरेंट करना है हमें जो इंटरेस्ट है वो करना है हमें हमारे बेसिस पर डिसीजन लेना है या दूसरों को फॉलो करके डिसीजन लेना है सो ग्रेट पोएम विथ लॉट ऑफ लर्निंग इन इट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड अ पोएम बाय रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट थैंक यू